Hello, my soccer universe. Well, late on Friday, uh, at a point where I actually didn't check anymore because it was Valentine's Day and everything that I wanted to watch Valentine's was recorded for me to watch Saturday morning because Valentine's Day is a big day in our house. So yeah, I uh, didn't read it until Saturday morning. A bombshell was released by UEFA banning Manchester City for two years from the Champions League. That had to be digested <laughs> at first because my first reaction was, yeah, okay, they're gonna appeal, 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 appeal and try their best to not have this happen. Um, but I think that's not the main point for me. The main point is that finally one of the really big clubs, the ones that are famous for having a lot of money poured into them, is getting punished for kind of serious wrongdoing on their part, I mean, creative bookkeeping uh, in a way that, yeah, saying the sponsor gave you money, but it was basically funneled by the owners uh, via third party and so on. It, it's, you know, the financial stuff is kind of messy, but yeah. Uh, that's serious wrongdoing uh, on UEFA's part. Um, I think the sentence will probably get reduced by CAS. Um, if they go to the legal system, the Swiss legal system, I'm not sure what that will bring. My initial thought is, uh, yeah, the punishment seems to be heavy. Uh, but on the other side, given that it has to run through an appeals process and, and so it's maybe a little bit bargaining, yeah, um, let's show that we actually want to do something about it. Um, and then uh, see if the sentence gets reduced to just one season. Um, I think it's also a brave step by UEFA uh, because Manchester City is surely among those that want to have a European Super League, which, let's face it, will eventually come. So um, kind of hanging this might actually add fuel to that fire, but on the other side, it actually shows the smaller nation, hey, we are out there for you uh, a little bit as well. Um, what this now means for Manchester City uh, per se will be seen. Um, I would, and this is based on just intuition, nothing else, I think the sentence will get reduced to a, a year, um, which at that point will probably not impact City too much. But two years might be severe because you might not be able to sign players. What will Guardiola, uh, will he hang on to the project? I. I have a feeling he might, um, but the Champions League is the big thing, so maybe there's more urgency now to get this title this season, because it might be the last one. Uh, but yeah, those are things that have to be seen, they have to work out uh, some, you know, for City, Europe is essential. But I think a year away from European soccer can actually uh, be beneficial as well in order to build up steam again. But you know, I've seen it with Milan once. They were banned in '91 uh, for the '91-'92 season and uh, became the best team in Europe during that. But uh, that was a different time. Speaking of Milan, the one comparison that I don't like is that UEFA is now the second time handing down a big sentence because the first one was Milan. Uh, Milan voluntarily withdrew for a year from Europe. Voluntarily. They made a deal and said, okay, please, we're not gonna do that. Um, for me, that's a complete different story. The other thing is, what will not happen to the likes of PSG and so on? What will they do one on one or two? Or even maybe the big guys in, although they are not that funded by big companies, um, big guys in Spain, I was thinking, but uh, PSG is the one that might get a little nervous there as well. But that's Qatar, that's not the Emirates, maybe there's some more power uh, there, I don't want to say too much. Anyway, let me know what you think about uh, CD, CD being banned from Europe, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my take on that, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.